guys, this is Derek with Southern Style Lawn Care and today we're going to finally do a review on the Nash Sub-Z 23 quart cooler. Um, I've had it for a few weeks now so I've had some time to really, you know, really actually get some use out of the thing. I didn't want to do a review without looking. I'm going to kind of compare it with my Yeti 35 which I do love my Yeti um, I just really needed something that was a you know something with a handle that I could carry a lot easier I can carry my work pad on top um, it fits the Yeti accessories let me pull this handle down handle just comes down it does not have side handles which is okay the valve on the side is pretty much just the same as your standard Yeti uh, the seat on top is very nice. I have mine double strapped over so it doesn't go anywhere. Basically it comes up, you strap that down there, but that works very well. Um, just kind of trying to do a quick review. If you don't want to use the seat, it does snap off. And you have your lid, which is very similar. Now I will say this lid, and you have your lock points as well. You have your spots where you can change out your latches. Um, same on the back. Now I will say one thing. Um, well, well, we'll get to that in a minute. But anyway, um, I've used it on the boat a lot. Today we were in we we're in the 90s. We're in Mississippi. Uh, it's been hot, so I finally got off early. It's just hot. But anyway, so this will hold Yeti accessories. This is my Yeti cup holder for this cooler, but it holds that. Uh, it's got one right here. This can also be used for a strap tie downs. It also holds my lock. My, I think it's called a Cobra lock that I got for my Yeti. But it also holds it. This is just more convenient for me so I don't have to tote around this. This is at, at least half the weight of the Yeti. I haven't weighed them but I mean I can just tell. The gasket is really good material. When I got it it felt a little, uh, felt a little too slick. But now since I've used it, um, I mean, it's breaking in. It's really nice. But um, this thing will hold 30 cans with a full bag of ice. I have tested it, done it a few times, especially get on the boat and stuff like that. This Yeti will hold just a little bit more. I mean, not too much more. It's a Yeti 35. It's not 35 quarts. This is going to be a true 23 quart. Um... I can give you some measurements real quick. I've never done this. Uh, you got right at almost 11 inches to the top. Right at 9 inches across. And right at 13 and 3 quarters across. Now the Yeti, move some of this Gatorade. This is just where I store my hot Gatorade for the week. The Yeti is almost at 11 inches height you can't really feel it here on this one but we'll go there anyway it's 11 and almost a quarter that way and right at 15 so you got a little more room in here but to me I still use this cooler a lot I actually have a cart that I made for that right there that way if I go to the beach you can put your fishing poles on the back cooler strap it down and she's ready to go so that's a different story if you're going to the beach or something but I mean just for yourself I mean there's nothing wrong with this like I said I've been out in 90 degree weather today and I put two uh, cups of full of just regular house ice in here and I mean I still you know have at least one full cup and the other cup has melted but like I said I've been out since about 8 this morning and it is now 3 o'clock so just two cups of house ice kept this, this, and this, and another bottle, and another Gatorade cold all day. So you really can't beat that. Uh, sometimes I'll freeze one of these. Um, the ice retention I have found with this, with the Sub-Z, is a lot better. I don't really use the seat much unless I'm fishing, but I keep it on here because it, it, adds, it, it adds a layer of insulation to this lid. It keeps the sun off your lid. This lid is not as heavy duty as 
the Yeti lid, I feel like. I feel like the Yeti lid can take a little more heat uh, and hold a little bit longer. But as far as ice, I mean, I really can't tell the difference. I, I would literally have to do an ice test, which I don't really care to do because they both hold ice plenty long enough for me. Um, usually I'll put ice in this. Like just say, for instance, Saturday I put 30 cans, like two or three bottle of waters, and a full bag of ice. We used it all day Saturday, sat under the garage, and we were on the boat in the sun, used it all day, sat under the garage Sunday, and Monday I still had enough ice to use for Monday uh, out cutting lawn. And I also, Tuesday I had a little bit of ice, but it wasn't enough, so I had to refill it. But anyway, my overall opinion, I mean, the build of it is good. Um, it's no different. It's roto-molded. It's just a lot lighter. I don't know. Maybe a little less thick plastic. I'm not sure. The only downfall I kind of found about it was the latches, which now I feel like they're breaking in. They're pretty strong now, but at first, when you first get it, it feels like they want to pop out. And the reason being is if you look on the Yeti, this right here is recessed and rounded out for your hook so when your hook goes in it goes in when your hook goes in here it's just not recessed it's not it's just flat so i'm thinking about maybe putting a drill under there but it actually fell off of the back of the truck the other day and didn't open so it's pretty nice the bottom does have the non-skid seat um, which is a great feature it doesn't move in the vehicle but I mean, on a 1 to 10, the Yeti, I would give an 8.5 for all around maneuverability. Now, when you add the cart that I made over there, it becomes a, almost a 10. Um, now, this one, I would give about a 9, a 9 point rating just because the ease of, you know, you can just literally flip this handle up with no effort at all, pick it up and walk with one hand and carry something in your other hand rather than having to lug around that with these two grips. It would be nice if this had that, but anyway. And then as far as this compares to a Yeti Roadie 20 port, I don't think there's any comparison. Um, this I know weighs less than the, the Roadie. Um, this has 23 quarts. Uh, the handles are identical. And the roadie is so small on the inside it's not even a 20 quart i don't know what it is but anyway once i started looking at those after i bought this i was very glad i bought this you can buy it with or without the top i would prefer you buy it with the top if you're in super sunny areas uh reason being it basically adds an extra layer of protection from the sun so uh, like i said guys give this cooler a nine uh Definitely go pick one up, Sub Z, made by Nash. I ordered mine at Walmart.com. I think some retailers actually carry them. And uh, it's a very good build. I mean, it's not too much you can say bad about it. I got the blue with the blue top. Now, they do make a, cam a camo top that comes on a tan cooler like that. But I've already got a tan cooler, so why not, you know. And yet they, yet they do make a pad for the top of this but it's a hundred dollars and then you have to drill your own buttons on there and i just i'm not paying a hundred dollars for a pad i paid 140 for this whole cooler and it comes with a pad that flips up to a seat so in my opinion this is a better buy than this but they both serve their own purposes so i'm not really hating on my yeti i love it uh, i've had it for about four years and it's held up great i still use it but as far as an everyday personal cooler, you know, this is what I use. But uh, anyway, guys, that's my review of it. It holds ice for about two to three days, just depending on the heat. Like I said, it's 90 degrees, and it's still hold it'll still have a little ice there in the morning. Not much, but I only had two cups in there. And uh, just don't really feel like doing an ice test. I think it's just a waste of ice. Um, but anyway, guys, yeah, that's it. I would definitely highly recommend it. And uh, I got mine at Walmart.com. And I know they sell them other places. So thank you. So like, subscribe, uh, ask any questions if you have them. And uh, have any ideas for future videos, let us know. Thank you.